Today we're going to be making this beautiful Mexican tile table. This table is actually going to be made from the frame from an old fire pit. So let's go ahead and get started on cleaning that up. Okay, cool. So first things first, we need to go ahead and patch up these holes. I'm going to start by making sure there's nothing in there. No debris or anything. Oh, that's where that went. A really good way to do this is just to use some sandpaper. Not only does it clean the surface, but also gives a rough surface for the steel stick putty to stick to. Now since this is a two part putty, it needs to be thoroughly mixed in order to cure. Now I attempt to put it in in a somewhat neat fashion. There we go, 24 hours later. I'm going to go ahead and sand the whole surface of the frame. This will roughen up the surface for the paint to stick to. Now since this needs to fit in this, I'm going to go ahead and take the scribing end of my calipers and mark how much needs to be shaved off so the wood fits snugly in the ring. Okay, now that the putty's dried, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the frame to get it nice and clean. I'm just using black spray paint along with a clear coat. This will make it look shiny. I'm spraying from about 8 to 10 inches away. This makes a nice even coat. I'm also spray painting the heads of the silver screws. I'll let this dry for the appropriate amount of time. There's a little bit of rust underneath the paint on the ring, so we need to go ahead and mask off these pin heads. Now I'm just repeating the steps as I did with the frame. So these are actually Mexican tiles that I'm cracking up into little pieces to put together kind of like a puzzle. This is called mosaic. That cutting tool is called a nipper. Be careful when doing this. Try not to cut yourself and be very weary of your eyes. The purpose of the ring on the outside is to prevent you from cutting yourself on the tiles. After you have a design in mind, just get some wood glue and glue on the pieces. It literally feels like I'm making a puzzle as I go. I think I'm going for kind of an organic sort of stripe pattern. Bear in mind, this takes a lot of patience and is very time consuming. Slowly but surely, it is progressing. There we go, things are getting pretty good. Oh, and there's no need to doubt my dedication to this project. I had to wake up at 6.30 to work on it. Do yourself a huge favor and keep a nice clean work service. Especially if you want the tiles to stick to the wood. Okay, so now what I'm doing is making a blue chunk up in the top right corner. So I'm just making it rise as I go. Yes, it's glorious. Now I just need to figure out what comes next.
There we go. Added some nice vibrant red. I think the design looks very busy, yet organic. You know, why not add some blue? Oh yeah, look what I added in. There's a nice gray strip. Okay, so let's finish tiling this thing. Oh yes, one last look before it gets grouted. So I named this work of art Pangea, and I went ahead and engraved the name, my name, and the date. I'm also going over it with a stained marker, and it's actually red mahogany. I think it really brings it out well. So I went ahead and sprayed a glossy clear coat to protect the wood. Now it's time to fill in all the cracks with nice charcoal grout. So notice how I'm spreading the grout and mashing it into the cracks. So now I'm mounting the tile piece to the frame. So this thing actually took about 11 hours to make, and I dare each and every one of you to count all those tiles. I'll pin your comment to the top if whoever's closest. This thing's actually for sale. Check the description for more details.